Welcome to May 13th, everyone. Today I'm going to show you two grooves in 13. Ah, uh, triskaidekaphobia, the fear of the number 13. Not in my studio. You know why? For it is a human number. Ho, ho, ho. 13 is scary if you're going to solo or play a groove doing this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. None but Bennett. Not easy. And your mouth is going to move like a foreign movie, a bad foreign movie. Hey, play 13. Just add 7 and 6. You don't want that. All right? So we're going to do a thing called subdivision. Subdivisions. Ah, oh, Neil Peart. Rest in peace, Neil Peart. You gotta love them. Anyway, subdivisions. Subdivide the number 13 into smaller numbers and put them together. For example, 8 and 5. Okay? 8 is your basic 4 4 groove. You can do We Will Rock You. Doom, doom, da. Doom, doom, da. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Doom, doom, da. There you go. Alright? So, subdivisions are the way to make these things tasty and comfortable to play. I'm going to show you an 8 and 5, and another one I'm going to show you is 7 and 6. Now, drummers love 7 for some reason. I do. Um, take your favorite 7 groove and add 6. It could be two triplets. It's that easy. What I used to do is I took those little magnets, like the number magnets that the, the babies play with, and I used to throw them at my refrigerator and put together the closest numbers. For example, I would throw the number 8, and then throw whatever, a number three. And whatever was the closest, I would put it together and make a groove that way. So the first one I'm going to play for you, I call it Jungly 8, the drum and bass E5. Jungly 8, the drum and bass E5. It's going to be like a jungle 8 and a drum and bass style 5. So, you got to ask yourself, are you hungry? I am. Let's do this thing. Break it down. Okay, let's break this thing down. So the first beat, the eight, is kind of jungly sounding. All right? I used this beat on a song called Absolute Zero for my band Ark, my old band Ark. The album is Burn the Sun. I originally got the idea from a Madonna song called Frozen. But I sped it up. Actually, it's a Ringo beat from the Beatles. He invented it. Take it to ride. you speed these beats up, they sound kind of jungly. So, play it real slow. I'm going to start on this trashy thing, these brake pads I call them. I got them when I was 11 years old, many, many, many moons ago, but they're great. So, the eight is this. I'm opening up the hat on the backbeat, kind of like a queen thing. So, it's a jungle queen. Jungle queen! Okay, in Siena, two together.
So the next one, I call Spacey 7-6. You're gonna take your favorite seven groove. A seven, seven also can be subdivided into smaller numbers. For example, you can play seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because that's eight, two syllables, okay? This bear walks into a bar and says to the bartender, Can I get a Jack Daniels and Coke? And the bartender says, Yeah, but why the long pause? Oh, he's a bear. Sorry. Anyway, where, where, where were we? Seven and six. All right. Now, seven can be subdivided into four and three, three and four. All right. And then you put it together with six which can be six. Shimetta, shimetta, Napoli, Napoli, Sassari, Sassari. Just, it's all syllables in the end. So let's try this thing. I want to do something kind of like real spacey. First time the ride is the one. The second time the hi-hat is the one. I did.